All right, so we're gonna install our head studs on our 6.7 Cummins. Um, this is pretty much the same for all 24 valves. Now the, the VP44 trucks, the second hand trucks, the trucks that look like the blue one over there, they might be a little different, but for 03 and up all the common rail shit, this is pretty much the same. I mean, when you order the head studs, they say 98 and a half to 2017, which is pretty fucking cool. Anyway, uh, I have ARP 625 head studs that we're going to use. They're used head studs. Um, they've had one torque on them. It's not a big deal. So we're going to put those in. And since we don't have a bad head gasket, we're going to kind of do like the uh, at-home thing. Like if you go to a shop, they're probably going to still want to pull the head, put a new gasket on that and everything. Just make sure everything's good. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take each one of these. I believe there's 26 of them. Head bolts out. We're going to take each of these head bolts out one at a time. And I believe one, two, three, starting with this one, I will pull up my diagram to know for sure but we'll pull that out we'll torque it to 100 foot pounds which i believe is the factory spec and we'll we'll torque that and then we'll go and do that 25 more times after that we'll go around do another torque um i forget what it is but it's up to 150 foot pounds so we'll divide that by it's either three or four um what i do when i've done this in the past i've actually used glacier diesel they make some good products. Actually, that's who my grid heater delete is by. They also make some pretty awesome traction bars, which is who I based mine off of. But anyhow, they have a good installation manual for doing the head studs and a good diagram. That's what I used the first time I did it, and it was flawless. So anyhow, I'm going to pull that up now so you can see it uh, on my device here. So anyhow, here's here's the the glacier diesel arp head stud install anyway i mean this is all the basic stuff we we already have everything gutted uh the injectors actually don't have to come out in order to do this the rockers do i pulled the injectors because we're pulling them anyway to put the 200 percent overs in so i figured i'll pull them out so if we ever need them of course we don't bump them if you're doing this with them in just be very careful that you don't hit them with your torque wrench because they are expensive and the tops of them are delicate so anyhow here's our head stall installation chart and like it says you know torque the new stud to 100 foot pounds all that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to blow up this diagram right here so i make sure my torque sequence is right um what i also do is the first bolt here i'm going to mark that with a paint marker just so that way i can kind of keep a reference and but basically you change this one this one this one and you just work out in a circular motion all the way outside of the head so like i said we're gonna put the first one in uh we're gonna put arp lube on the oh that's the other thing the installation says and i did on the gray truck put them in hand tight once you feel them bottom out put them back a half a turn and then put the the nut and the washer on with uh arp lube on either side of the washer and the nut and on the threads then torque it down the, so you're not bottoming out the stud and you get the proper torque so we're going to start that now and uh have at it all right so i forgot something when i was telling you about this i i realized it when i went to grab my first headset I forgot on these 24 valves there's actually six longer studs they go on the exhaust side of the head to replace those six bolts the ones that will be outside of the valve cover i'll be honest i can't remember why they're longer but i do know that's where they go that's where they're on are on my gray truck so all, anything under the valve cover will be these shorter bolts so just remember these six these are uh, a 12 point they're a 12 point socket so just make sure you have a 12 point socket or 12 point head so make sure you have a 12 point socket for these a hex head or uh yeah hex head won't work so we got our arp ultra torque lube we're going to apply that to the underside here to these fine threads here as you can see you got an allen cap screw head there or an allen there the coarse threads will go in the block the washer will also get some lube. It says apply lightly, but 
I'm gonna go uh, a little liberal on it. So. <laughs>
All right, so our final torque for these head studs is supposed to be 150 foot pounds. Glacier Diesel in their little article here, they recommend, or they don't recommend, they said in actual practice, some torque them to 160 foot pounds. You do it at your own risk. Well, we're going to go with 160. That's what I did on the gray truck, no problems, and more's better, right? So anyhow, we're going to do this incrementally. We're going to do it four steps. So we already have them all at 100 foot pounds. We're going to go 115, 130, 145, and then 160. <laughs> All right, so all 26 head studs are in and torqued down to 160 foot pounds. I'm kind of beat. Um, that last couple go rounds are a little pain in the ass. Uh, you got all that shit in the way and just with the torque and you've done it a couple times already. Anyway, it's getting late, school night. So as you can see, all our head studs are looking pretty. Our next step, I think, is going to be to uh, do the valve springs and push rods, do our injector install, and then hopefully I'll have my second gen swap kit and all that, and we'll throw that in, CP3, harmonic balancer, the whole nine. I haven't decided what fuel system I'm going with. I kind of decided that I'm going out to UCC. I believe Fast and Air Dog are going to be there, so I'm going to talk to both of them about what I got going on. Because I know a lot of the big horsepower guys, they'll run two pumps. Uh, Air Dog has like a 200 4G pump. Fast has a 260 pump. They say he's good for like 1,500 horse. So we'll see. Um, like I said, I haven't made up my mind. And we're going out there. They have the uh, DPI, the Diesel Performance Industry Expo. So uh, hopefully we'll learn some stuff and uh, make some good decisions along the way. I'll, uh, I'll be bringing you guys with me. I don't know... How I'm going to go about it. Might just take some random videos here and there of what's going on because you probably want to see that more than you want to see me talk. So, anyhow, that's it for in the garage tonight. Our head studs are installed, the head's bolted down, and uh, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys on the next one.